What's going on everyone? Welcome to Always Occupied Home and Product Reviews and in this review we have the Kaza Smart Wi-Fi Power Strip. Now I did review a Kaza on the channel. It is the Kaza Smart Light. I got this from Amazon and I think this was like 30 bucks or something like that, 25 or something. It depends on how many outlets you want. The more outlets you want, of course, the more it's going to cost. That's how this product works. Now, on this, you can use Hey Google, Hey Alexa, and it has works with smart things. This is 15 amps. That's what it says right there. Right there. Now, with this, you can control from anywhere. You can set your schedule. And of course, voice control. Uh, no hub is required. So you can basically use your phone with this and that's about it uh let's go ahead and unbox this thing and get it out the box so here you go i took it out the box so this is what i really wanted to see i wanted to test this to see the length of it 47 almost four inch almost four foot so i'm a half inch away from being four foot if you want to know the length of the cord by itself here goes the length of the cord. The length of the cord is approximately three foot. On here, you have two USBs, three outlets, and then you have buttons if you want to turn the outlets off or on. And you got the Kaza name right here. And on the back, you have rubber feet, rubber feet. And if you want to mount this, you got the screw slide right there. That's if you want to mount it so what i'm going to do is put this in the garage so where i reviewed the electrical extension that is where this is going okay and that's about it so let me go ahead and put it up if you are new to this i will show you the app um but if you already have a casa you might just want to see this out the box or you just want to see it work so yeah let's get into it Okay, everybody, so we have the Kaza Smart Strip on here. Now, I was thinking about putting the garage on there, but I might leave the garage alone. And this one is for our uh, Smart Garage Door Opener. This outlet right here. This is our Smart Garage Door Opener. If you haven't seen that re review, I will put it in the description then I'll put all reviews in the description and all links and blah, blah, blah. But this is our electrical to have our power source. You can see the light is blinking. It says protector on it. It has the outlets there. Let me click it on, on, off. All right, let me go ahead and open the app. And well, yeah, y'all see it got kind of dirty, right? But living with me, that's just the way it's gonna be. All right, they didn't have an option for black. I would've chose black, but you know, it is what it is. We'll configure this out later. All right, you guys, so it's unable to connect. So let me go ahead and climb up the ladder and hit that pair button. It says blinking, right? It's blinking and y'all see it's blinking. Okay, next. All right. Go to Wi-Fi, TP link, Wi-Fi, TP link, power strip. All right. TP link is on. Let's go back. We just went back. Hopefully it finds it this time. Yes, and it found it. All right. Click my Wi-Fi. All the lights are on. And there we go. All right, now, can I control my USB? Or I wanna skip this for right now. I'll add the 
names later. Location, the garage. Congratulations. Sounds good. All right. Blase, blase, blase. Let's get started. All right, there we go. Now we got R3 right here. I'm trying to see if the USB is in control. But you can't control the USB, can you? All right, so that cuts off. I'm ready to cut off number two. Number two is cut off. Number three is cut off. All right. Now, on here, with the USBs, there is no off and on for the USBs, which would have been nice. But it is what it is. I'm not going to harp too much on that okay and that's about it you can do favorites let's see okay this is on the app all right so on the app it actually puts it in separate and it says plugs on it all right plug you can set schedule right there. You can set a schedule. You can schedule it's empty. So we'll do that later. Timer, you can set a timer up. All right. You could do away mode and then you could do runtime. All right. And that's about it, you guys. All right, you guys, so I am going to just finalize this review. They said it's rated for 15 amps and up to 1800 watts. On their description, it says it can support up to five appliances. With that being said, that's pretty good. We are using our Kaza power strip for our bug zapper up there. We're using it for our retractable extension cord right here. And we're using it for our smart garage door opener. It's good because I can turn the bug zapper on. I can schedule the bug zapper to come on at nighttime. That way it'll kill all the bugs and track all the moths, especially when the spring and summertime comes. We are going to be bug free in this garage. So with that being said, I only have three outlets. I didn't want to get four because I just didn't need four. I always want my garage door hooked up. So I just leave that alone right there. The garage door will be left alone on its regular power source. Now, the Casa took some power this past weekend, I was working on my little wood projects. I had my table saw hooked up to my retractable extension cord, which is hooked up to the smart outlet. And I had the vacuum. So I had the power, uh, the table saw and I had the vacuum and I was pulling power and testing out the capability of both my retractable and my uh and my smart outlet other than that that's the end with the casa power surge protector smart surge protector and i hope y'all like it links will be in the descriptions like comment and subscribe